Hey guys, Thundi E here and welcome back to another roundup of the best True Wireless Buds for the month of May. Now, I missed a month in April, uh, but we have a couple of really good pair of True Wireless Buds for you to check out. So let's start off with the very first pair. Now, you've seen reviews for this out there. My buddy Gameski has covered this. I'm talking about the Sony WF XB700 Extra Base True Wireless Buds. Now, I really like these because they cost 129 and they pack in a lot of bass for people who like a lot of bass. The cool thing about these is they sound also really good. So it's not just a lot of bass being packed in. Now, in terms of design, you've got something that is kind of large in terms of shape, but I definitely understand that because they're trying to put in the right drivers to give you a lot of bass into this themselves. Now, you've got a physical button on each um, earbud to give you controls for, of course, play and pause, uh, and of course, quick access to your voice assistant. Now, it's got a rather large case, giving you uh, 18 hours in total with the case, but you've got a good nine hours using these as well. Now, there's no noise canceling, uh, there is no wireless charging, but it does charge via USB Type-C. In 10 minutes will give you, of course, uh, an hour of use, which is also pretty nice. And, um, you know, this thing also has a decent microphone in terms of voice. Now, uh, on the downside, it doesn't have the ability to connect to Sony's really awesome app. So that is something you take note. But in terms of audio, I think it's got a really nice sound stage that gives you uh, a nice way to breathe and listen to all that bass that you want to listen to. So this is a definite pickup for, of course, uh, the fans of extra bass with these wireless buds. Now, next up are the Libertone Track Air Plus. Now, the Track Air Plus are really stylish, very slick looking to wireless buds. Comes also in a very portable compact case as well. And this, of course, uses USB Type-C charging. So you've got a couple of things to it. The case has wireless charging, so that's actually pretty cool. And you've got 24 hours of playback altogether with that case. Built-in microphone, which gives you some good uh, voice calls. Not too crazy, but still good, solid all the way. And active noise cancellation. Now, noise cancellation is good. It's not great. It does uh, give you at least a sense of some uh, noise cancellation, but nothing too crazy here. Now, in terms of audio quality, I do like it. It's got a nice sound stage, though, but I think it's, it's missing a lot of mids in there. Uh, though it's clear and crisp, the highs are good, the lows maybe uh, not so much, uh, but it still gives you a nice overall sound stage. IPX4 uh, rating, so of course it's waterproof and sweat resistant, so you can use it to work out and things like that. Um, and uh, you can also get a quick charge using in USB type C. Now, these have uh, a very simple, easy use. Of course, you double tap to play and pause, that kind of thing. And uh, they are quite compact to carry around. Plus, you've got Qualcomm's latest chipset, so you've got Aptex uh, capabilities with it and great stability and connection with Bluetooth 5.0 as well. So overall, this is a solid pickup at around $159 with noise cancellation, uh, wireless charging, and it's a really pretty good soundstage. Now, next up is the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2. Now, the True Wireless 2s have been out for a little bit. There have been a couple of reviews. Comes in a really nice case. This is a slick looking case. I like the case. I've got the, I love the fabric build to it, 28 hours with the case. So that is actually pretty nice. And you've got about seven hours of reach with the earbuds themselves. So some good battery life all around. Now the earbuds are a little larger, but not as crazy as Sony's size. And they feel really light. So I really do like the weight of them. So when you put them in your ears, they don't feel heavy or strenuous or anything like that. Got several ear tips you can use. Uh, and you've got, of course, uh, active noise cancellation. Active noise cancellation on these are good. Sound stage is nice. They sound really nice, crisp, and clear. And uh, definitely a really solid sounding set overall. Now, these are priced at $299. And I have to say, though, at the price point of $299, it's a little bit steep for some people. If you like the Sennheiser sound, uh, these definitely fit into that well. The active noise cancellation is not that great. And the touch controls can be a little bit murky, although you can customize it within the app. I just found it still to be quite clunky there. But in terms of audio, this really hits the spot. And this is something you might want to pick up if you're just a fan purely for the audio. 
Now, next up, you guys have seen my video on the Pixel Buds or Pixel Buds 2, depending on whoever wants to call them. These are a great pair of True Wireless Buds. $179 comes in this kind of like egg pill shape uh, case right here. And of course, you can flick to open, which is pretty cool. Uh, you've got uh, something that is really comfortable and light and easy to put in your ears and wear. I do like them for that. Now in terms of battery life, battery life is okay. It's about five hours of each, you know, with the uh, earbuds themselves. Uh, the sound stage is nice. Uh, some people of course have stated that not enough bass. I think it's okay for me, but I, if you're looking for some extra bass, this might not be what you're looking for. You do have to raise your volume up to higher levels. Hopefully that update will come in, but I do like the microphone on there and I do like the Google Assistant connectivity as well uh, with it. Yes, this Google Assistant with a lot of true wireless buds. These have, of course, contactless Google Assistant. You just have to say, talk to Google and you get, of course, all those prompts. Now, the other thing also is the language assistance where he actually does language translations for you with Google Assistant and that's specifically with these buds themselves. So nice additives there, really nice fit and also a great improvement from Google. So something to look at if you're looking for a lot of diverse features. And finally, our last pair of True Wireless Buds are of course what I considered my new king. I'm talking about the Sony WF SP800. Now these are Sony's uh, new uh, True Wireless Buds. Uh, I just did a video on them. Definitely check that video for, for some more details on them. But what I like about them, of course, is the audio quality. The sound stage is so good, very big, and also has extra bass as well. Not as big as, of course, the XP700s, but enough bass for you to feel like you're grabbing a little bit more in terms of oomph on this system. The highs are pretty good, the lows are great. Also got a great microphone for voice calls and is sweat and water resistance as well. Now, it does have fast charging via USB Type-C with the case, though this thing doesn't have wireless charging and it is priced at 199. Might be a little higher for some people, but I think out of all you see in this month, this gives probably the best overall package in terms of delivering audio, connectivity, as well as noise cancellation as well, which is slightly less in terms of comparison to the WF-1000 Mark III's, but still really solid all around. So I will also might recommend the SP800N from Sony. So that's pretty much it, guys. Those are all the true wireless buds that we have for this month. Now, if you want to pick up any of these, use the links down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this talking about true wireless buds on a monthly basis, let me know. Now, if you're looking for specific reviews, I don't do a lot of specific reviews. I do on a, on a few, but you can also check out my buddy Gameski because he does a lot of true wireless buds on a month daily basis. I kind of do the roundups, but let me know what if you want to see more roundups like this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, definitely, uh, and always enjoy your entertainment.